Menzies, a former Prime Minister. From all over Basutoland, native tribesmen trekked in towards the township of Mazeru, for the news of the coming of the king and his family had spread far and wide. In camps near the capital, everyone was in a state of considerable excitement, whether they showed it or not. The paramount chieftainess, Mansebo Suizo, is seen leaving her residence in her native village of Matsi, which, except for her brick-built house, is just a cluster of native huts. In reply to her interpreter, she gave this view of the great occasion. Yes, I'm expecting thousands of my people to go to the Piso. I'm greatly looking forward to the royal visit. It's a real honor to us. Meanwhile, more and more Basutos were coming in on horseback to take part in this, the greatest Piso or gathering of all time. Many of them had been weeks on the journey. From the Maluti Mountains and far beyond, single riders joined with others into small bands. The bands grouped together and rode on to converge on Maseru with other groups. Nearing the capital, they merged into a vast mass of men, blankets and horses. The royal family, driving with their escort past thousands of the Basuto people, must have been delighted with this native ovation. All the way to the Piso ground, they were followed by this unprecedented cavalcade of horsemen. The arrival at the Piso ground itself was, of course, the climax of weeks of anticipation. For here, loyal tributes from tribal chiefs were to be offered to their majesties and the princesses. The king himself would address the people and there was to be an investiture. Not all the tens of thousands of Basutos could see, but most could certainly hear the proceedings. I thank your soldiers for their services and sacrifices and for their help in that time of great danger. Then the investiture, and first of these to be honoured was the paramount chieftainess who was invested with the order of the British Empire. Her demeanour throughout the royal visit was one of simple dignity. Her speech had expressed renewed loyalty to the throne. For her and for her people, this was indeed a proud moment which Basutoland would surely never forget.